YouTube! How you guys doing today? It's Mike from Brown Family Homestead. Hey, you know we harvested all these garlic scapes just a couple days ago, actually. So I'm trying to find all kinds of stuff to do with it. I made pesto for the first time ever uh, using gar... First time ever making pesto, but I used garlic scapes. Turned out really good. We really like it. But then I was reading grilling these pretty much like you would do with asparagus. So come on, let's go do it. We'll let the kids taste test because we know what they say matters. All right. I know I'm gonna love them, I just know I am. A little olive vinegar, a little salt, a little pepper, boom. Put them on the grill, like one or two minutes on one side, one or two on the other side. One thing I was uh, reading to make sure is if you have a thicker one like this, like this one I should probably even just cut off, but it needs to stay on the grill a little bit longer, help tenderize it a little. So let's get going on this. All right, so here, it's a really super hot day. You might hear my dogs panting in the background. And Jenny's working on dinner because we are gonna have these for dinner. So here's my scapes. I cut the flowers off and I cut a lot of the stems off. But like here's, I think this is the one I just showed you. Here's a really, uh, we'll see how that one cooks. I'm gonna cook them though because I wanna see what it comes out like. So also I gotta mention, Chad and Jenny Benton, are, well Chad made this cutting board for me and I love it, I love it. Oh, I, he made it for us. I use it all the time. That's uh, Chad and Jenny from Benton the Farm. Uh, go check them out. This is a beautiful cutting board that he put together for me. Oh my gosh, I love it. All right, so you've seen that. Let's get them in the bowl and get some oil on them. So as you can imagine, I'm going to be using olive oil, classic olive oil, because it's all we have and we only have a little. It shouldn't take much. Jenny has assured me this will be plenty. Um, but everything I read calls for the extra version of olive oil and we just don't have any not at the moment but you want to drizzle this all over and then we're going to like make sure that it's all over it all over all over after i do this i'm going to give jenny a big hug and put my hands on her cheeks and tell her how much i love her great you made me drop broccoli <laughs> All right, and I actually, it did not look like I put much on there, but I may have actually put too much on there. So look at all these, these ones are gonna get grilled separately. Look, they just kind of stand out. They're very easy to pick out. Uh, but these ones here, we're gonna see how these turn out. Uh, I don't know why it's not cut, but I meant to cut that one off, I think. Okay, let me wipe this oil off my hands and then I will get some salt and pepper to throw on here. Okay, a little salt, a little bit more because um, salt's good for you. Hey, it's real salt. Uh, all right, I love salt guys, sorry. A little pepper. Most of what I have seen has just said a little salt, a little pepper, and then go grill them. I'm actually gonna mix these up again. I really don't think I should put any more salt on. Now I have this urge to put garlic on here to tell you the truth, um, that uh, I'm not going to. It almost seems pointless, but my understanding is the taste of these, did I just put more salt on there? Yes. <laughs> I'm like, didn't what you, you just say you weren't going to do that? Jenny, what are you doing? All right. Some more salt? <laughs> I don't think we need any more. All right. So I've heard that grilling these garlic scapes really tones down the flavor. If you've ever cut one and eaten it right off, it's a pretty strong flavor. My kids will tell you. They were chewing on them and they were like, wowzers. Uh, they had tears and yeah. But they liked sitting there and just sucking on them. That they like, like the whole stock, like you would think of like a, a farm kid walking around with some wheat sticking out uh, or some straw or something. That's what they, they've been walking around with that, a garlic scape in their mouth uh, like for the last couple of days. But supposedly grilling it really tones down the, um, the flavor, really tenderizes it. And it really comes out a lot like asparagus is what I had read as far as, I think what they meant more was not necessarily flavor, but more like, uh, the texture and stuff of eating grilled asparagus and stuff. So that's what we're going for. We'll get these on the grill. All right, we just discovered that we're in a big hurry. 
So uh, the grill's warm. It's like at 350 right now. Let's put these on here. I am going to keep these big, uh, stronger ones a little separate. Because uh, I know those are going to need a little extra. Most of my reading said just leave these on here for one to two minutes and then flip. So that is my plan. Oh, they're looking really good and I haven't even been on here yet. Don't tell Jenny, but I might try bacon wrapped scapes here sometime soon. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and close the lid here for a couple minutes. Or not a couple minutes, but a very short amount of time, really. Oh, look at that, looking good. Woo, a little warm in there. Alright, I don't know if I'm going to be able to really keep track of what I got here. I can tell some of these, this has only been, geez, two minutes, one and a half minutes maybe. I can tell, like a lot of these started off pretty soft and I can, whew, I can tell that they're getting even softer. Alright, these are looking good. These thicker ones, I can tell they're still pretty hard. I'm leaving them on. These ones, I guess I'm just, I guess they're good. A couple of them look like they could have some more. One just fell through. Uh, let's call it. Let's call it. Worst case scenario, lesson learned. Next time I make them, we'll cook them longer. All right, so you're gonna get my first reaction. I've got a very small piece, and I can tell it's tender. I think it's really good. I think there's some things I'd like to do flavor-wise, but it does not have that strong garlic, super strong flavor that uh, especially the boys noticed when they're eating it earlier. I did not cook a lot of these enough uh, they are, in fact, not tender, so I really need to work on that. But uh, I might give it a shot here another day or two and see. But I can tell you, overall, these are good. I got no problem with them at all. What do you guys think? How do they taste? I don't know. You haven't tried yours yet. What do you think, Mom? I think they're good. I think it could have some more flavor. I think a lot of the flavors actually disappeared, but I think they're really good. They are good. Boo, what do you think? Thumbs up. TJ, you had thought before they were grilled that they were super spicy. Yeah. What do you think? They're really good. They're really good. But the spice and that strong flavor, it lost it, right? It's not there yeah, anymore. it's not there anymore. Right. I've already asked you. Okay. All right, guys. Thanks for coming along with the garlic scapes on the grill. Uh, we like them. We'll be doing it again. We have a lot of scapes to still use, so... I don't know. We'll, we'll be eating these again. Just like when asparagus comes around, it comes out of the ground like crazy. And this is exactly how we eat asparagus also, except I think we put some garlic on the asparagus. And, mm -hmm. uh, I put red pepper flakes on everything. So. Paprika. All right. Paprika, yep. All right, thanks, guys. Grilled garlic scapes. Thumbs up here.